If you've had trouble trying to obtain your UK medical script, then keep watching because I may have a couple of answers as to why it's been so hard. Hello YouTube world, my name is KD. If you're new around here, then welcome. But if you're not new, welcome back, love. So today's video is, oh, uh, I don't know if it's concerning enough, but it was concerning enough to me to want to make this video and share the information to you. So, upon researching, as I was doing just to look at some video ideas and some content and whatnot, I come across this article that was very deep. I cannot find anything else that cross-references this article. However, it's from a website called pulsetoday.co.uk. Now, usually what I do in these videos is I will screen share the information. There'll be like a little camera that will pop up and there'll be me in the corner and I'll show the information on screen. However, today I'm going to try this differently because YouTube does not like the C word. So I'm going to try my hardest not to use the C word. Um, meaning that we're going to try and work around this because I really, really want as many patients, future patients or people that know people that may be going through something like this to get this information. And I don't want any risk in YouTube stopping that happening. So I'm going to go through everything, but there will be links to everything that I've referenced in this video down below. There's also chapters as well. So if you'd like to look ahead to see what's to come or you just want to reference it for later, go ahead. I've done that to make it easy for you too. So to get into the video, this is the title. GPs asked to monitor patients treated by private MC clinics. Sorry. When I read that, I was like, hey, yo, what? Let me just read that again. GPs asked, asked to monitor patients treated by private MC clinics. So this was the 8th of December, 2023. So it's pretty fresh, right? I don't know how long it's been going on for before this article came out, but we now know about it from the 8th of December. So GPs are increasingly, increasingly being asked to monitor patients treated by private MC clinics, local leaders have warned. Now this comes from Lancashire and Cumbria. So again, I've tried to cross reference this with any other article that I can find, any other information that I can find about this. And so far, nothing. This is the only thing that's come out. So Lancashire and Cumbria, they have been made aware of this. I don't know whether this is going on in other counties and places like that, but uh, I'm going to tell my experience after this. So, you know, I wouldn't hold my breath that it's not happening in a place near you. So as it continues, Lancashire and Cumbria LMCs. Now I've looked into LMCs and this is what they are. So just a quick Google check. What is an LMC? An LMC is a local medical committee. It's a statutory body in the UK. LMCs are recognised by successive NHS acts as the professional organisation representing individual GPs and GP practices as a whole to the primary care organisation. So now that we know that bit, it gets a little bit more less confusing, right? So these are the local medical committee people and they deal with GPs and GP practices. This is how it ties into this video. So Lancashire and Cumbria local medical committees have been made aware of private MC clinics contacting practices, asking them to provide medical record summaries. There we go, right? There's, there's the one we all know, yeah? The summary of care records and clinical letters, as well as monitoring of any treatment. OK, so there's a little bit of a fuss about this. That's great. However, you go down a little bit and it says here in a newsletter, the LMC said that they receive reports of staff from these clinics becoming aggressive. And there is actual quotes. I'm not doing that. Becoming aggressive and reminded practices in the area that these services are not part of the core GP contract and can therefore be turned down. I'm sorry, let me just read that bit again. They are not part of the core GP contract and can therefore be turned down. 
is this what is happening? We've also, it, the bulletin goes on, the bulletin goes on here. We've also been informed that these clinics are becoming increasingly persistent in their emails and phone calls. Duh, of course they are. If you're not giving the information over, which is to the client, the actual person, you, your information. If your GP is not giving your information out to a private clinic purely because it's based, can't say the word, you know what I mean, right? What is this? What is this, right? It even then goes on to say, we would like to remind practices this isn't part of your core contract and any information that the clinics need can be obtained by the patient themselves to pass on. We'll come back to that. Either through online access or an SAR. An SAR, for those who don't know, basically means it's a subject access request. This is data on you. You are an individual with your data and you know by now, hopefully, that you can go to any company that you have ever spoken to and ever had any recorded conversation with, whether that's email, text message, phone call, anything that you've had with any company, you can request that information and that is called a subject access request. This is something that needs to be adhered to. I'm going to read off of Google what the actual description is. So a subject access request, SAR, is a written or verbal request made by an individual to an organisation to obtain a copy of their personal data, including where it was obtained, what it was used for, and who it is shared with. The right of access, also known as a subject access, allows individuals to obtain a copy of their personal data, as well as other supplementary information, right? This is for you, you can obtain this. However, many people that are starting their journey, becoming a patient, aren't actually capable of doing such things. Whether that means that they can't get out of the house, whether they can't get on the phone because of anxiety, any myriad of health issues could mean that they cannot do it themselves. So the clinic steps in, acts on their behalf and asks for it. If the doctors aren't giving it to them, of course the clinics are gonna become aggressive. Of course they're going to become more frustrated and more persistent in trying to get the patient's data, which is theirs. The last part of this little section here says we would also advise practices not to engage with these clinics, particularly on the telephone if they are becoming aggressive. What's your constitute of aggressive because if the clinics are just calling every couple of days emailing every couple of days or whatever is that deemed aggressive if the clinic is downright saying i want the patient's information i am requesting a freedom of information act or an sar on their request i don't think clinics can actually request sars on your behalf i believe that has to come from you however they damn well can do a freedom of information act on your behalf because they've done it for me so after reading this i was shocked concerned upset worried and apprehensive for the future of the mc scene because I don't know where else this is happening. Of course, this just says Lancashire and Cumbria. However, it has happened to me. When I moved addresses and also moved clinics, I basically started with Xerenia and I had a pretty hard time in obtaining my information from my new doctor that I'd moved to, not my old doctor, from my new doctor. They, I guess they didn't understand it or I don't know what the hell was going on, but there was a lot of back and forth between Zerenia and myself, basically saying we're, we're coming to a brick wall, they're, they're just not sending us the info, we're requesting it. And they were just dragging their heels, basically. They're just not doing it for whatever reason. You know, maybe they're busy or whatever. That could be a cover up. I don't know. However, all I know is that the lady said, don't worry, we are going to request a Freedom of Information Act and they're going to have to. Lo and behold, about three days later, she said that she had the information. It was absolutely fine and she's pushed it through to the board of directors. 
everything was fine, obviously. I'm a patient now. I've been a patient since 2021. So needless to say, I have experienced it myself where I've already seen GPs be apprehensive in order to speak to these clinics. <sighs> What's going on? What's going on? Guys, have you been stopped? Like, let me know down below. Let the community know. What's your deal? Have you ever been told by your doctors, like, you know, oh, your, your clinic may have been a bit aggressive getting your information? Because I know there are some, like, receptionists out there, right? I'm not even kidding. Like, you must know, right? There's some receptionists that just can't help but say about things. So I can imagine that there's been somebody go to the receptionist or something and there's been an altercation before where the receptionist maybe knows that person through the whole conversation line before. And then when they get there... I, I don't know, I can just see someone maybe being like, oh, your clinic was a bit aggressive trying to get the information. I don't know, I'm just, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know whether this is true for everywhere, how bad this is. This has only come to surface on the 8th of December last year. So who knows how long it's been going around. I don't know. I would like to know whether you've experienced any delay or any stoppage or whether you've actually been told by your gp that this other clinic has been aggressive or anything like that it would be interesting to see if we've had any of this actually with you in the community and be able to share that with the rest of us i'm hoping that i've said everything in a way that it will get through to the largest community of patients that need to see the video but if not please please hit that like button to make sure that we can give it the best shot as possible to getting out there subscribe if you're new for new updates this is an emergency video if you've read my community post you will know this is why it's coming out before sunday and you'll know that in the future this may be a thing so thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Feel free to watch one of these videos while we're waiting for Sunday's video. Mwah. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Goodbye.